so in continuation to our previous part where we have seen that what are the different instruments are available in our laboratory so uh, here we are going to see about that what are the instrument we have seen and what are the use of those type of the instrument now generally optophotometer in optophotometer it is used for the to check the cns stimulatory or cns depressant activity now in this optophotometer it is uh, as i have shown already here the photocells are there three sets of the photocells are there and here the light source is there we are keeping the mice in this cage and mice are moving clear mice are moving and number of times uh, during the uh, movement of the mice how many times the mice it will restrict the right to fall on the photo cell and here it will be some count it will be there clear here it will be the count it will be there so here we can uh, and also we can give the uh, light electric impulse uh, to uh, for the movement but generally we are not using so we are keeping the animal and we are going to check the animal for the 5 minutes and the 10 uh, minutes so we'll first uh, record the in the control without drug and then we can give check the responses with the drug also so if the number is increasing what does it means drug produces the cns stimulatory activity so movement is increasing but if the uh, count is decreasing it means that cns depression so movement is less now coming to the digital telethermometer it is the six channel digital thermometer the six channel so what we are going to do this is the probes are there this is the probes are there so what we are going to do oh, for example it is uh, into the number one probes we will going to see uh, uh, set into the number one then this one we are going to place into the rectum of the rat clear rectum of the rats generally rats we are using into the um, to evaluate the antipyretic activity so rectum of the rats we are going to uh, place so as soon as we are going to place into the rectum uh, the, it, here it will display the temperature so we can check the temperature of the uh, animal and uh, through this we can use the antipyretic activity this digital telethermometer coming to the rotor rod experiment in the rotor rod experiment what we are going to do uh, we are keeping the animal into the rotating shaft this is the rotating shaft and generally here we can control the speed generally it is that uh, the 20 rpm that means rotating shaft uh, speed that means 20 rotation per minute clear 20 rotation per minute in that we are keeping the mice and mice it, it will going to adjust uh, itself and as soon as it will fall down Clear? As soon as it will fall down, this mice it will fall down here uh, in the plates, uh, the count it will stop. So, we will check that how many seconds the animals are there in the rotating shaft. Now, again after giving the drug, if the mice is falls quickly, that indicates the muscle relaxant activity or CNS represent activity. So, the uh, drug uh, mice it will be falls quickly. So, that is we are giving the rotor rod apparatus commonly we are using for the muscle relaxant activity coming to the electroconvulsometer now electroconvulsometer this is the to uh, if, uh, it is nothing but the to produce the convulsion says it to the uh, experimental animal rodents like mice rats uh, now what we are going to do we are giving a particular sets of the electric current for a particular very mini uh, you can say that uh, less number of the time of course what is the count and all we are going to see uh, whenever we are doing the experiment then it will produce the convulsion after giving the electric shock the animal it will produce the convulsion and we need to record the time of the convulsion and the different phases of the convulsion so that is the electroconvulsometer Next is we have seen the Cox pole climbing apparatus. Now in the Cox pole climbing apparatus, this is the CNS. Again, the uh, um, it is acting on the uh, CNS. So now it is the pole as already we have shown. So and uh, here the grids are there. You can put the electric. Now what will happen? We'll keep the rat here, and with the general tendency, the rat it will want to 
climb into the pole clear climb into the pole now uh, here you can produce the sound here you can produce the electric shock so again after and before the drug treatment we will check that how uh, quickly the animal it will uh, climb into the rod so that is it is the pole climbing apparatus so uh, depends upon that we can understand whether drug acting on the cns or not next one is the eddy's hot plate now eddy's hot plate means it is the to check the analgesic activity and mainly we are going to check the analgesic activity those drugs are the centrally acting analgesics like opiate now what we are doing to do we are uh, these plates it will be uh, will uh, switch on the and this plate it will be uh, going to be heat and we are maintaining the temperature in the 55 degrees centigrade clear in the 55 degrees centigrade we are going to maintain the temperature so we are going to place the animal here mice and after placing the animal what will happen mice it will jump clear it will jump so after how many seconds the mice is jumping then we that we need to record or what it will be that there will be paw licking now what is paw licking it will keep the two ponia to this mouth and it will going to lick so that is the paw licking so either jumping or the paw licking response after how many seconds we need to check so again before the drug and after the drug or two sets of the animals it will be there but we need to remember no cases the animal should be kept into the hot plate more than 12 seconds because it may cause the paw injury so if the drug is not showing response or uh, means animal is not showing short response after the administration of the drug fine you uh, take it out after the 12 second and um, record it in the uh, as a 12 second next is the plethysmograph apparatus this is we are going to check into the anti inflammatory activity so carrageenan induced paw edema we are giving the carrageenan into the um, paw of the rat so that paw it will be inflamed and what we are going to see this it will be mercury filled with the mercury so as soon as we we'll dip the paw of the rat to the uh, this uh, bigger arm so mercury it will go uh, into through the shorter arm it will rise to the uh, through the shorter arm and what we are going to see using the scale we can find that how uh, mass centimeter there is a uh, plate, um, that is rise into the market so that is the volume so again uh, in the control and the after the drug treatment or the after the carrageenan induced we can check the uh, paw of the whoa. so this is the histamine chamber in this we are going to see about the asthmatic activity anti asthmatic activity of the drug so here we are using the guinea pig we are keeping the guinea pig guinea pig are the more sensitive to the histamine so whenever we are giving the spray it will produce the asthmatic symptoms and uh, without drug and uh, means with drug uh, what is the effect of the histamine spraying on guinea pig that we are going to observe it or without drug now coming to the this that is used for the bioassay in vitro study so already i have told this is the chymograph uh, drum that is the shedding trans rotating drum and this is the outer jacket clear outer jacket and uh, here actually this is the setup this is the setup so this is the organ tube this is the tissue clear in this it is tissue it will be we need to fix all those thing like that elect uh, tissue the, this is the frontal liver frontal lighting liver this is the load here uh, it is uh, there we are going to you can say that uh, load here the fulcrum it is there clear fulcrum it is there it is the recording drum with paper and uh, of course response is coming like that this is the glass coil through which physiological solution it is coming and here it is the aerator this is the this is actually aerator through which oxygen we are giving the oxygen to the muscle so that muscle it will be into the life condition this is the uh, water outlet you can see that water outlet next is um, you can say the thermostat to maintain the temperature because some cases we require that we need to maintain the temperature this is the organ bar chamber this is the stirrer so these are the different types of the liver like simple liver frontal liver 
uh, then um, uh, screw holder uh, that is uh, already you have seen hard uh, styling lever and universal brodis lever so these are the uh, different uh, instruments uh, or you can say that part of the organ but assembly of course in your next semester you have those experiment and they are also you are going to discuss all those things in detail